Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tubla Marley, certified pothead. Finishing one of my uh, what is this? One of my um, afternoon blunts and shit, bro. Let's jump into um, day shindig, bro. Developing right now, an Atlanta rapper known as Gunna will stay in jail after a judge denied him bond today. He's charged in a gang indictment. Channel 2's Michael Seiden was inside the courtroom when this happened. He joins us now live from the Fulton County Jail. And Michael, prosecutors say Gunna was involved in an incident there, and this was back in May. Hold on. Um, in case y'all don't know who Gunna is, Gunna, Gunna's a rapper and shit. Um, he's he's indicted with a uh, young thug, also a rapper out of Atlanta. On uh, on Rico charges and shit. So these niggas is looking. These niggas looking at a long time and shit. Yeah, George, these are all allegations, but as you mentioned, it was May 14th when prosecutors say a nurse attempted to smuggle a bag inside this jail. It was full of marijuana and cocaine, but when a deputy confronted her, she dropped it, then took off running. Now, today in court... He said in May? What is it? July? Two months ago, he had a nurse come in there try to try to bring you some weed and some cocaine. And she, and she she worked there and then try to try to run like they ain't know who she. Was. Court prosecutors claim that some of those drugs were intended for the rapper Gunner, a claim that his attorneys are calling false. Wait, hold on. So they don't know know for certain that they was going to him. They just assuming that shit. Why are they assuming that? They, they got to be a reason why they why they assuming that. All they're looking for is their son to get a fair shake, and they don't think that's happening so far. That's how Gunna's parents reacted to a Fulton County Superior Court judge's decision to deny their loved one's request for bond, citing concerns that the Atlanta rapper, whose real name is. That nigga name is Sergio Kitchens. What, what did your family do that you got the surname Kitchens? Build Kitchens or clean Kitchens? Sergio Kitchens might threaten or intimidate witnesses if he were to release him ahead of trial. None of the allegations made today, these so-called new allegations, are accurate. Gunna, who appeared virtually today, is one of 28 defendants charged in a sweeping criminal gang indictment that also accuses fellow rapper Young Thug of being a part of Young Slime Life or YSL. Prosecutors allege that YSL is an Atlanta street gang that's committed multiple murder shootings and carjackings throughout the city. Gunna. Yeah, they try, they try, they try hit these niggas with the book, bro. They try, they try hit these niggas with the book, bro. They not, they not even playing, bro. And then like, yeah, when the fans come at you, bro, they 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 don't come at you with shaky shit, bro. Who is only charged with racketeering is also accused of being a leader of another criminal street gang with ties to Metro Atlanta. He is a member of the Shady Park Crips out of South Fulton. He is under an investigation at this point in time by more than one law enforcement agency concerning at least two homicides committed by that gang during this time. I repeat. Hold on, 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 hold on. So Gunner, they saying, they saying Gunner, not only with the YSL shit, they said he got his own Crip gang. They got two bodies? Uh, ain't, ain't you trying to sneak, ain't you still trying to sneak weed and cocaine into the jail, bro? What are you trying to do, bro? You never want to come home. Pete not involved 
in any of the so-called Shady Park Crips matters. Prosecutors also revealed new details about a recent incident at the Fulton County Jail. Back in May, investigators say this former nurse attempted to smuggle a bag full of cocaine and marijuana into the jail. But when it hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's 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 it. How much of that? What is, so this is weed. This is weed. These these is cocaine. Well, this is probably weed too. They look green. How much did they pay her to do that shit? If she ain't get paid, if she ain't get paid enough, that was dumb as fuck. He confronted her, she dropped the bag, and took off. Inside that bag was a list of people from medical records in the Fulton County Jail. One of those people on that list was Mr. Kitchens. What is your... <laughs> she didn't drop all the evidence and just fucking bounce with all y'all goddamn names on it. She ain't... Yeah, bro. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? Klein guilty of being a uh, hip hop and rap star. All right, so back to that former jail employee. We are told by authorities that she spent more than a month on the run. They finally caught up with her in Mississippi. She is now facing extradition. Yeah, she going all the way to jail. Also, in the meantime, the judge issued an order, Judge Glanville issued an order on Wednesday forcing defense lawyers to withhold witnesses' information from their clients. This after prosecutors claimed that they had had numerous threats to kill or harm witnesses. Of course, defense attorneys deny those allegations. We're live in Northwest Atlanta. I'm Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News. You got, you got to wonder, bro, do these niggas, do these niggas even want to come home, bro? I mean... Shit, bruh. You, you trying to you trying to smuggle trying to smuggle drugs into a federal prison, and then the motherfucker that you send to go get the shit, drop the shit with with your name on it. Y'all y'all niggas don't never want to come home, bruh. 